this morning. We are joined by the lovely Miss Vermont 2018 Julia Crane and we're talking about life after Miss America. Yes. I am so excited to have you here. This is right <laughs> up my alley, folks. All right, I want to know about the Miss America competition. I know this year it was revamped mm -hmm. because of the Me Too movement. Really. Yeah, so how was it different? What was it about it that made it so unique? The biggest change was that there was no swimsuit. So Got instead it. what we did is we took out swimsuit and we had an extended onstage interview portion. Mm -hmm. So it really got a chance for the audience to look at the woman, see how she would um, be as Miss America, hold right. the title as Miss America, what she would do with the crown. So definitely more up the alley of what Miss America does on a day-to-day -day basis. And how did you feel about the lack of the swimsuit competition? Did you think it really defines what a woman should be? And in, in, in a sense, not taking it away from the competition. I think it was appropriate to take it away. Mm -hmm. Of course, nobody should be ashamed of what they look like in a swimsuit. Right. I know that I was always confident, confident when I walked on stage, but I think that what you look like in a swimsuit really has nothing to do with your job as Miss America and how you would hold the job as Miss America or Miss Vermont for that matter. So the next year's Miss Vermont will also not compete in swimsuit. That's wonderful. Now, you competed at Miss America in September, correct? Yes. So what have you been up to since? Well, I've been traveling the state, as yeah. all Miss Vermonts do, so I've been averaging about two appearances a week. I've been doing everything from going to the Epilepsy Foundation dinner. I have been down with the Austin Society in Brattleboro, Vermont. I have right. been judging apple pie baking contests. <laughs> that sounds amazing. Certainly the hardest part of my job. <laughs> of course. Yeah, but I have been traveling to this wonderful state. Good. Now, I know that your platform is organ donation. Yes. Tell me a little bit about how you got involved with that. So I actually got involved through my best friend, Courtney, mm -hmm. which is very exciting to say that she did need a double lung transplant. Wow. On October 15th, mm -hmm. we got the call that there was a set of lungs for her oh my down at Mass General Hospital. And I, the stars had aligned. I actually wow. didn't have any appearances until Friday. Wow. I didn't have to work until Thursday. So I actually got to go down and be with her throughout the process of her getting her new set of lungs. She's doing amazing. Two and a half weeks later, she is discharged from the hospital. Mm -hmm. She's living outside of Boston to make sure that she's getting the care that she needs, but she's doing fantastic. So it, it was her who really inspired me to get into organ donation and help people realize the heroes that they can be. Oh my gosh, it gives me chills. That's, it, that's such I, an yeah. incredible story. It's such an incredible Successful story. story yes, to yeah, and it was so funny that you know she's been waiting for. She's been you know since she was born, she has known that she's needed a set of lungs, and it's been a three-year process for her waiting for these lung these lungs, and to have it kind of coincide with my year as Miss Vermont is is kind of funny that that happened yeah. as I travel the state promoting organ donation, and then finally her hero came to her. Right now, how important important is your platform when it comes to Miss America? I talk about it at every appearance mm -hmm. and even if it's just a mention or a lot of people ask about Courtney, I talk about her a lot on social media and people follow me and they follow my Instagram stories and on Facebook and so they say, well how's Courtney doing? People I've never even met, which is really, yeah. really fun to see the impact that it does make and also the positive that social media can bring to the job. Yeah. But it really is important as I travel the state, you know, even a mention here and my thing is I did compete for Miss Vermont for five years and what got me back on stage every year was the thought that if I had just changed one person's mind to become an organ donor, then I had done my job, I had fulfilled my duty. So that's what got me back on stage every year until I eventually did win the title and the job of Miss, Miss Vermont. That's amazing. Now, let's not forget, you got Miss Congeniality. I did, I oh, did. How was that? How amazing it was, was that? It was the icing on top of the cake of yeah. my Miss America experience. It was amazing, and it was a very special moment. They didn't announce it on live TV, but okay. Gretchen Carlson and yeah. Regina Hopper, who are now the, um, the president and CEO of the Miss America organization, they came into the dressing room right before, and they said, we have a very important award to announce. And they said, perhaps this is even more important than Miss America herself, because it represents all of the women on stage. And I got chills, and I was like, oh my oh, gosh, how amazing. Amazing, how amazing it would be to win that. And then they said, and your Miss Congeniality is Miss Vermont Julia Crane. And of course, I had just done my makeup, and here I am about to go in front of millions of people. It's happening. And I'm crying, and I'm trying to keep it together, and all the girls are hugging me, and it was really such a special moment, something I'll remember, because, you know, for me, I realized that my purpose at Miss America was to just have an amazing time. I was ready to come back and represent this state. I've wanted the job of Miss Vermont for so long, but I think I was there to just, you know, be a friend for people and to provide comedic relief when it was needed and kind of a stressful year with everything changing so it was it was like I said the icing on top of the cake and real quick I want to know what is your message for other girls who want to be Miss Vermont one day what would you say to them 
absolutely just do it just get up on that stage I it takes bravery it takes courage but you learn so much you grow so much right. you know just my experience from you know talking with you back two weeks after I had I been know. crowned to now things have changed so much in my life and so it's just such an amazing experience just the networking right. the confidence the public speaking skills things like that there's nothing to lose when you get up on stage there's just everything to gain right. including scholarship money so I did yep. graduate with my masters right before I went to Miss America I defended my thesis and that was great to kind of have that out of the way and then focus on Miss America but I'm proud to say I only have a thousand dollars of student debt left from my undergrad and my graduate Amazing. degree thanks I've won over seventeen thousand dollars thanks to Miss Vermont so a lot of people don't realize I know the scholarship money that is yeah. a part that comes with this job not only the ability to travel the state but also the money that you get right. to further your education and empower women well we are so proud of you and you've been an incredible representative so thank you thank so much for being here thank you thank you congratulations for, for everything thank you and if you want to know more about Julia we'll have more on our website at mychamplainvalley.com. We'll be right back.